You guys, I am tired. Pretty much everyone has had to admit recently that the lab leak theory is likely where COVID came from. The FBI, the Department of Energy, even 42% of Democrats polled now agree. The majority of Americans agree. The, the jig is up. We also know that the NIH was illegally funding gain of research in that lab. So all that's really left is for Congress to put the pieces together. So can somebody tell me why Elon Musk's new free speech Twitter is banning ads that discuss this very basic information? Recently, the White Coat Waste Project, where I'm a fellow, it's a free market animal welfare group, and they're actually the ones that initially discovered the funding in Wuhan because they were tracking animal torture, tried to run some ads discussing these things and calling for investigations, and Twitter blocked it. This is all actually really imperative because we're still funding this kind of research, meaning the next pandemic could be right around the corner. And these ads were hardly salacious. You can pause to read here. Very, very general. And this isn't the only front where we're still battling this. Like the Washington Post recently had to admit that likely the thing came from a lab, but they're still trying to deny the kind of research that would have been leaked. Pause to read this thread, I'll go through it. Essentially, they're trying to say that they've ruled out laboratory modification of a disease. That's not true. Why are they doing this, you may ask? I think the answer is actually quite simple because if it is what we think it is, which is that the NIH illegally funded gain of function research on animals in the Wuhan lab that then leaked and caused the pandemic, that means Fauci and his agency are responsible and they're still running water for him. This is why the mainstream media will die. Go to base-politics.com.